so carbs are not the enemy but try to limit your uh, refined carbohydrates and choose high fiber whole grain choice as a well as fruits and vegetables when developing your meals now talk about the fats a fat are the the most concentrated form of energy and that our bodies can consume fat often a gets a bad rap but it is really only the saturated form that we have to be wary of saturated fat are easy to pick out since they are solid at room temperature whereas unsaturated fats are liquid at the room temperature but saturated fats are commonly found in dairy egg meat while unsaturated fat mainly come in the form of oils so what is the goal aim to use healthy fat like olive and grapeseed oil instead of butter and margarine when cooked so these oils also make excellent addressing and marinade just to make sure that to overdo it though since fat contain more than twice as a many calorie per gram than the protein and other carbohydrate so you have to goal just you make your fat in a your include your diets that means equal to your all whole healthy nutrients so if you talk about the carbohydrate that is a 4 calories per gram if you talk equal to the protein that 4 calories per gram if you talk about the fat that is 9 calories per gram so you have to decide you have to aim which calorie what calorie is requiring your body for the proper growth now you are talk about the good fats versus bad fats saturated is equal to bad animal origin and swallowed at room temperature unsaturated that is good that is plant origin and liquid at the room temperature if you talk to reducing a fat in your body and how uh, from your diet choose lower fat products read the label before purchasing any fat uh, um, included any product read the label be aware of portion of size just because it is it it is low fat don't eat twice as much trim visible fat careful non visible fat cannot be removed like chips and donuts so remove the skin from the poultry avoid add on fats less spread like butter sauce creamy dressing so it can be use like a reducing the fat from your diet now talk about the vitamins vitamins are a very essential for the living organism and that are living compound that we need to ensure a healthy mind and body they allow us to actually is use energy given to us through the consumption of protein carbohydrate and fats a healthy diet will provide all type of 30 essential vitamins for variety of food so you have to mention 30 essential vitamins in your diet diets for your proper growth and healthy body but often times of multiple vitamins and minerals will be needed to cover your bases what is your goal for regarding vitamins if we, if we, every meal consists of a lean protein vegetable and a choice of fruits whole grains and healthy fats then you can feel confident that you have met your quota for the day now come minerals minerals are also very essential for the improving your body part and body organ so it is a non living compound and it assists in many bodily function such as tissue repair growth regulation of body fluids for example minerals calcium potassium iron and zinc these are the very essential for your making good uh, transportation tissue repair even bone especially for the making the strong bone what is the goal about the minerals that found in an era of foods and just like a vitamin they are the best absorbed through whole and well rounded diets 
so it should be your responsible to include minerals in your diet now come the fibers fiber is a type of complex carbohydrate that your body cannot digest easily so fiber supplies no energy fiber source include the leaf stem roots and seed covering of fruits vegetables and grain if you talk about the example the whole grain breads and cereals if on the skin of fresh fruit raw vegetables nuts and seed they are all are containing fibers the fibers help you avoid intestinal problem and might be reduce your chance of developing some form of cancer it is involved to make it strong your stomach adds bulk to feces of feces of facility elimination so there are two type of fibers one is soluble fiber second is insoluble fiber if you talk about the soluble fiber that is a lower blood cholesterol and that slow absorption of glucose what about the insoluble that facilitate the feces elimination and that also prevent constipation and lower intestinal tract cancer so now talk about the cholesterol cholesterol is a wax see fat like substance that is found in the saturated fats of animal cell including those of humans you can consume cholesterol in a food high in saturated fat such as meat because you are an animal you produce your own cholesterol you don't need to get from other animals because you have to you are already producing the cholesterol so you don't need any cholesterol from the other animals what will be good sources of protein that are lower in cholesterol so here what are the calories the measurement of how much energy we get from the carbohydrate protein and fats these are the energy nutrients and these are the source of energy calories count a measure of the amount energy that food will produce as it pass through the body if you talk about the carbohydrate what are required at 4 calorie per gram if you talk the protein that is 4 calorie per gram if you talk the fat 9 calorie per gram alcohol that is a 7 calorie per gram that gram is multiply with your body weight and that it is equal to your body weight for the proper growth and maintain your proper health if you talk the macronutrients that nutrient we need in relatively large amount so that will be known as as a macronutrients such as carbohydrate proteins and fats if you talk about the micronutrient that means your body requires little amount of nutrients like vitamins and minerals the most important of breakfast you need to break fast the fast and the last time you ate was 8 to 12 hours ago because why you need the breakfast because you uh, last time you ate was 8 to 12 hours ago so it provide the body with the energy for the day so you need that is a, in a whole day the breakfast is a very important it provide the energy for working for the performance for the whole day this allow your body to not be be as a hungry later one in the day it will prevent you from being itchy now how to read how to read a food food level one check the serving size second calorie third percentage get less of that nutrient get more in this nutrients why should i read food labels because of labor rust and rise presentation of the nutrient content so you have to take nutrient component nutrient food nutritional that which compound which uh, molecules that are nourish your body so we have to take such a food and we have to read a food label
Now come.